Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. If you saw the earlier video, yep, general election was called in the UK for 4th of July this year. What was not publicised as much, obviously, is that the Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden gave a talk at the London Defence Conference about the website that's been set up on the Gov UK site um, saying, are you prepared for emergencies? And the website is prepare.campaign.gov.uk, which I will obviously put down in the comments. Um, and basically it is saying that this site is to help prepare for emergencies, help you be more informed about hazards, and help you get involved in your community. So, obviously, as you do, you go and have a look. So, some of the hazards they're talking about are animal and plant health, antimicrobial resistance, cold and hot weather, storms, fire, flood, cyber, drought, disease, overseas emergency, phone and broadband, etc. Um, they also have get involved in the community so you can volunteer or help um, information for groups and information about donating and I'm like what donating what um, seemingly if anything happens and you're in the UK the National Emergencies Trust may put up an appeal and that is a charity that has been specifically set up for if there's a national emergency so that people can donate cash to help buy things immediately so there you go. Um, it also tells you about alerts and warnings and that the UK government has an emergency alert system. You don't need to sign up for it. You don't need to do anything. If something happens, it will just hit your phone or your tablet. There will be a, a noise and it will tell you what to do. Um, it's also got a section on coping with trauma and a section on transport disruption. So it's got quite a few sections. Obviously, the bit I was most interested in is your emergency kit that it advises you to have. Now, it certainly is something the supermarkets have seen this and... Sorry, that's just the dishwasher finishing. What the supermarkets have said is, please do not start buying like we did in COVID. Please do not clear the shelves. Get a bit of time and build up your preps. Um, but their emergency kit... I just need to switch that off, hold on. It was irksome. The emergency kit that the UK government advises you to start with is a battery or battery powered or wind up torch because that's safer than candles. A power bank, preferably a portable one so that you can keep your phone charged or anything else. A battery or wind up radio so you can listen to announcements, spare batteries, obviously, a first aid kit, hand sanitizers or wipes, bottled water, non-perishable food and baby supplies if you need them. And it says buy these over time. Do not do the, the whole clear the shelves thing. Um, and it basically is when he was given the talk, um, Mr Dowden, he was saying to this London Defence Conference, he was saying that there's more than 40% of people in the UK do not have three days worth of non-perishable food and water. I think most of us have possibly got that. But, do you know, number of food banks we've got, how many people does he think are going to have three days worth of non-perishable food and water that they can stash? Yeah, bit of a thing. Um, but they also have a download, which if you've seen my little red book of resilience, it's like a smaller version of that. It's like three sheets of A4 paper. Um, and it's things like put your doctor's number here, you know, your emergency numbers, your contact numbers, etc, etc. Um, so they have a downloadable household emergency plan. And they've also got things like your best escape route from your home. Yep, I can tell you no matter what happens in my house, if there's a fire or whatever, I know exactly what window I'm going out, how I'm getting out, etc. I have done that in every house I've ever lived in. 
you know, the first couple of nights staying in the house, I am going through everything. Um, like in this house, we have up the stairs in Kathleen's room, she's got the window at the back, I've got the window at the front, but Kathleen also has a window at the side, which she has been banned from using in emergencies because there is only like a three foot wide space and then it's a fence. Like, you hurt yourself on the fence, come out that back window there when you land in the garden. You know, throw your mattress out the window, land on that, you're sorted. Um, I, I, I do that every property I am in for any length of time. I know exactly where I'm going and how I'm getting out. Um, but yeah, quite interesting that the government has now said, and I mean, Oliver Dowden did say in his, his speech, which there is a transcript on the UK government website, and he said, you know, when I did this back and whenever it was he did it, he said, people were just like, really, you're going too far now, this is ridiculous, you're scaremongering. I don't think it's scaremongering. I don't think, you know, a small amount of preps is a bad thing. So, yeah, go have a look at the website, let us know what you think. As I say, I'll put the link up in the description below, and we can see what, what use it is to us. Catch you later.